Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us in this class. Here we want to solve this interesting algebra problem. This is an Olympia question. And here we are finding the value of x. So from the first expression here, let us take the square of both sides. We have x plus 1 over x. Then let's square everything here. The same thing on the other side, square root of 2, so let's square that, and here we have square cancel square root on this side, then when we expand this, this will become x square plus 1 over x square, then plus 2 times x times 1 over x, that's 2 times x times 1 over x then equals to on this side we have two lefts and from there we can see that x cancel x here since they are multiplying and we can take these two to this side that's 2 minus 2 it will be 0 there so we have x square plus 1 over x square equals to 0 then here now we can use the SCM here which is x squared to multiply through and when you use x squared to multiply this here it will become x raised to the power 4 then plus 1 x squared will have cancelled x squared then equals to 0 then we can find our x raised to the power 4 from here and when we look at that x raised to the power 4 will now be equals to minus 1 so let's take note of this x raised to the power 4 equals to minus 1. And from what we have that we are finding, which is x raised to the power 29 plus 1 over x raised to the power 29. So then we can say we have x raised to the power 29 plus 1 over x raised to the power 29. And from there, we can write this again and say. This will be equals to this will be equals to x raised to the power twenty-eight times x x raised to the power twenty-nine. That's x raised to the power twenty-eight times x because one plus twenty-eight that's twenty-nine. Then plus one over we have one over same thing here x raised to the power twenty-eight then times x. We have times x here. Now, here now we can rewrite this here, and we have from there we can say this will be x raised to the power 28 here. We can write it as x raised to the power 4 times raised to the power 7 because 4 times 7 will be 28, then times x, then plus 1 over x raised to the power 4 here also raised to the power 7 times x. Then that will be now that will now give us from here. So that will now give us our x to the power 4. We have gotten that to be minus 1. So by the time we substitute minus 1 here now, we then have minus 1 raised to the power 7 times x, then plus 1 over also minus 1 raised to the power 7 because our x to the power 4 is minus 1, then times x. Then from there, we can say that we have x raised to the power, minus 1 raised to the power 7 is still minus 1. Then minus 1 times x, that's minus x. Then plus 1 over, also we have minus 1, then times x, that's minus x. And here we can see that this will be, when we factor minus out from this now, we can see minus into bracket x plus 1 over x. So that is minus into bracket x plus 1 over x. And we know that our x plus 1 over x from the question is root 2. So our x plus 1 over x is root 2. Therefore, we can now say this is minus times root 2, which is same thing as minus root 2. So that is the solution to the problem. We say thank you for joining us. And also subscribe to this channel for more of our video. You can also put your comment and don't forget to click on the like button. We say thank you for listening and see you in the next class.